The winner of district goes on to the state finals. There will be 12 finalists selected for the state. Jesseville, in the past six years, has put people into the state finals three times. Well, that's not bad. This isn't the largest school in the state, by no means. Okay? But by population and by, by demographics, you men and women have had the lion's share of contestants going up to the state. Really. They're in another school that's consistently put people into the state competition like Jesseville. Not a bad legacy. Y'all can continue that. Up there at the state, it's going to be listened to by not just some VFW folks, but probably about 200 local politicians and other folks. And this is where I say this becomes a door to a scholarship because, yep, there's a VFW-sponsored scholarship of $30,000 at the end of this for the winner. But this also opens the door to a bunch of other scholarships from folks that listen to what they hear at the state level. An example a couple of years ago is a young girl from Fountain Lake High School. Her essay was good enough to go to the state finals. It did not win. She came in fourth. Local representative said, she's from my district. I think this young lady's doing great stuff. He called a friend of his at Marion Academy. Said, I want you to hear this. Played the CD because the young lady said it was okay. Sent the paperwork down. Marion Academy said, this, this young lady can really express herself. Net result of that, she applied and was granted the full ride scholarship to Marion Academy. Now, Marion Academy is kind of a small school, but hey, when somebody's going to pay you for education, that's 26,000 bucks a year. That's not chump change. And her family did not have the money to send her to college. But her essay earned her the money to send her to college. Not bad. So it isn't just the VFW that's going to reward on this. There's all kinds of people that are going to listen to it if it gets up at that level. Now, the winner at the state level. They go to Washington, D.C. And if you're that lucky person, you've got to sign a little waiver that the school has to say, yep, you can do that. And you'll be gone for five days, all expenses paid for you to go to Washington, D.C., stay in a cool hotel, go see the Senate, go see the monuments, get to present. And the top 46 people there in order of final win first place is 30,000 and then it scales on down to about 1,000 at the bottom. It's not bad for 45 minutes to an hour of your time. It's pretty fair. Somebody's going to win it. Might as well be somebody from here. Okay. So, quick summary. Three to five minutes in length. We got the theme. Now all you gotta do is put it together. Turn it in so Miss Radke can give it to me. I need it by 1 November. That means she's gonna need it before that. When she needs it, that's up to her. October 21st. Okay, there you go. There's your date. Bang. So you got a couple of weeks. Piece of cake. That means you could actually break that down and do two and a half minutes a night and do it over two weeks and you'd still have time to spare. Two and a half minutes. That's not even the length of time of a TV commercial. You could just mute the TV commercial and sit down and work on this during the commercials and you'd get it done in no time. Easy. So we got the essay. We got the why. Because it's for your future because you're going to have to learn how to be persuasive in your communication. And we got the how. Use the power system. Write it. Get it all revised, put it on the disk. It's not hard, it's easy. If you run into problems, talk to the lady at the, in the corner there. Your boss, Ms. Radke. 
Now, can you talk to other folks? Sure. These have to be your ideas, but that doesn't mean you can't sit and talk to aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, other teachers, church members, civic organization members. If you want, you can go out and interview people and turn it into a little news report. Man on the street, why do you think veterans are important? And interview people. That's one way to do it. Get creative. Think of how you can do it. Can you do a brainstorming session and come up with a lot of different ideas? Sure. Just don't turn in 15 papers with the same idea because that ain't going to work. Okay. Point is, it's wide open. The only real deal is you got to make sure you have this filled out with your signature at the bottom. You got to have that with your written essay, with a CD, with your words. Now, please don't self-identify on your essay. Now by that I mean you can't say, I'm so-and-so and so-and-so from Beaudry Circle in Jesseville. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Okay? Just tell us your story. When you're done, make sure you put your name on the top, and make sure you put your name on the CD so that we can Get to do them together if they get mixed up. But don't self-identify within the essay. You know, don't talk about my Uncle Pat who lives on da 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 <clears throat> You can talk about your uncle. Just don't give all of the personals. So I'm just curious why I made it like have to be audio. Like you got to talk in it. I'm just curious. Ah, because we're in the 21st century. Because what's going to happen? Virtually everything you do in the way of life from here is going to be some form of oral expression. Okay? You learn how to do it in writing, and you'll have to do it in writing as the, the backup. We call that paper brains. You write it down so you don't forget it. As a matter of fact, I've said all of this off the top of my head, but not before I put together my own version of paper grains so that I could remember in case I got stumped. But everything you do from here on in life basically is going to come either straight out of your mouth or out of your mouth to some electronic device and then retransmitted there. And so they want to add this element of technology. They just didn't want to make it too complex. Some schools don't have the ability to generate a lot of this stuff. Now, we would like it on a CD, but if you have to, you can use a cassette tape. I don't even know if anybody here has cassette tapes anymore. But if you have to, you can. Some schools are still cassette tape technology. Okay? So, we got the what, the why, and the how. Three is the key. Three main points. Three parts to the essay. It goes like this. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Then tell them. Then tell them what you told them. Done. Anybody here play football? Isn't that exactly what the coach does? He tells you what you're going to do for the day. Then when you're out there, he yells at you to actually do it. And then when you're done, he wraps it up and tells you what you did. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them. Tell them what you told them. Conclusion. And when you're done, that's it. Sign off. We're done. Okay. How much time do we have left? Ten. Enough for me to go over what I need to do. Dynamite.